There's 5v3 for Dignitas out the gates, but they do have... <laughs> I was going to say, they do distract with the Palace players while this B play was meant to happen. Now that the Palace player is down for the count, they've seen this. And oh. Lecro, oh my. That was so well handled, that entire pistol round. He just lets the first player cross, waits for the second, taps. Oh my. Yeah, and if he shot at the first guy, the second guy would get all antsy. Got to appreciate this. that, yeah. Just That was nice. Okay. That is how you do that. That was okay. every step of the way. They had something for him. Had something, something. Man, the way Forrest ran in top mid, it was like an anti-eco. Mm -hmm. like he had like an SMG or something. Three bullets, basically, to take out two players, putting Dignitas in a small lead. This is one of those games every every round, every little round could matter. Yeah. This was said by Bubble in the interview with James that uh, this is, that it was crucial, it was crucial rounds that dictated the game. And I'm sure that's, that came as no surprise to either of these, either of these rosters. I love the gentleman's agreement to also come in with the same map picks, but then also have that little bit of spice and taking it potentially to Ancient instead of Overpass. I got a feeling Halvor has been up to something. Oh, okay. Victor, nice deagle headshot to at least take a little bit back away from Dignitas as this second round was going swimmingly. We're already seeing the mind games are huge. They do the run boost and set up the eagle to peak to take the attention off. And he nails the shot, but it looks like the plant is not going to be that easy. No, bomb's so far separated, but maybe Dreamer can catch one off guard. Unfortunately, he's working with 16 HP, unarmored, and a Glock, over facing to the two A1Ss. They're gonna run out of ammo. How is he still alive? <laughs> bomb's coming back to top mid. There we go. Okay. okay. Put an end to that one, man. Very curious what Pimp was talking about with this this affinity from Team Fiend to play like this constant double op setup between the new guys and you know, knock something off the table for Dignitas. Looks like a default here from Team Fiend's they set up to potentially overtake mid. Maybe just draw out some utility. Again, the top mid smoke, so important in creating a connection between the top of mid and the top boxes. So CTs, if they don't jump cat, for example, don't have vision in the window, are forced to just either molly top boxes, throw some extra flashes, take a peek here or there. But all the while, Dignitas disrespecting the mid control, he being very active. Yeah. Playing within the comfort zone, but also remaining cautious. Smoke goes over the top. This could deny Halzerk his vision so that Heap is left on his own. Frag grenade meant to be well-timed. But they wait still beyond the minute mark. You can feel that slow pressure coming. Look at that. Halzerk really waiting oh. that one out. And think about how long he held that grenade Man. and how he still managed to land it on the feet of Harn for a solid 40 damage. But mid control has been taken away. Team Fiend looking to work up through connector with three. However, I would say Dignitas lying in wait. Utility, a continuous stream from the T's, and now the challenge working its way through, irking its way into the jungle, but that's where Halzerk is able to chop down two players, nearly stopping Red Star. A good amount of damage done to Team Fiend, whether it's the frag grenade or this continuous stream of bullets. Dreamer out from Palace dies to this committed position from Forest. They didn't expect him to be on the firebox. Ten seconds left. This is a meticulous pressure cooker of a round, but Harn could still bail him out. Between Heroic and Poggers, I felt like we were just watching a match where neither team expected anything from the other. You know, there's a lot of uncertainty and mysteriousness. This looks like it's already all been detailed out. So much contrast. And I love that because, as Freya said, you know, this is where the pressure really matters. This is where they can seek that revenge. Big Pete from Heat 3 with the A1S and Bubble almost toss so far. But I'm sure there's still some answers here for Team Fiend. Might have a contingency plan getting into underpass. Not sure if that catch jump was missed. Not a lot of support here for Heat, but they'll need to be flashed out so he can peek or just take a timing and he oh. does find it. Yeah, good thing he did because very quickly Bubble was right there on underpass to draw it back. We'll stay 4v4. Hauser threw smoke. They swung mid so fast, I don't think they expected anyone could have dropped. Oh, what a shot, man. That was over the head. That was definitely past the wall, and it looks like another. Big picks, but no bomb. Do remember, that's still sitting at the top of middle, and, and the CTs don't know it, so they're kind of playing right into the hand of Team Fiend. 
who, because of this established 3v1, now have the comfort to go back. Had the market player not peeked into the scope, had they just played more, you know, conscientious of the retake, then, well, maybe they wouldn't be in such a good position. But that, that good position Man. is now a little less. It is, yes. They can go take over mid again or go back to B. Obviously, going A, it would feel, you know, would feel almost wrong. But Forrest, his senses are tingling. He's starting to walk his way over. Just making sure he can't get lurked upon. He's probably confused as to why the bomb hasn't gone down yet. So, this will slow things down in the favor of Team Fiend. And now Forrest might decide to take action. Going up against an op, though. Yeah, that's the tricky part. Does have the smoke if he wants to cover off the cross. May decide to hang on to it for the actual bomb cover. It's all about finding the first one without being picked off by Harn. Who I have to say has had massive impact with his two frags towards this B site. And sure enough. I said that. I can't, I can't. I actually can't. He won't be the last. And he's right back into the action, but he dies out to Forrest. Interesting turn of events. Forrest taking the sniper. 5-7 from Freiburg, looking to just lock in the oh. Palace play, and he does it with crisp ease. A second T spotted, and he goes back at it. Bubble gonna drop him. And hauser has got himself two kills as well, coming in from mid-window. This is a shutdown versus Fiend. Oh, that has to sting. They just got their opening. They had Dignitas on like a semi-broken buy. But Forrest winning the op duel towards middle, and Hauserk with the 2K. Yeah, they took down mid faster than ever. I can't help but feel like Fiend are a little bit cloudy today. That last round with the bomb down uh, at the top of mid, and how slowly they kind of recoup the situation. Only winning the one round with Harn, but overall, Dignitas just looking very sharp across the board. Halzerk's kind of made that one small mistake inside of the window. And on that round, maybe Fiend lose if he stays alive. Fiend having a little bit of trouble cracking into this. Second off picked up here for Lecro. Oy. Run it back. Is that 2K we didn't get? Wow. Ooh, keeping that spray clean on the side of the chair wall. And with the window open too. It's okay. Must be a steratonin dump after getting so close to yeah. being able to qualify just in touching. I mean, that's got to be one of the real, you know, people used to get very excited about quite crazy shot. Beautiful snap up. We talked about the potential double op from Fiend, but seeing as it's Dignitas on the CT side, they'll scoop up the setup first. And looks like Team Fiend want to head over towards B. They'll be met by Lecro's sniper. Oh, but it's already posted with oh. double. He hits two players with that shot. He himself gets hit. Oh. And they're vulnerable as hell. Oy, oy, oy. Jesus, the amount of damage that is just done. And Lecro can say, you know, I probably hit one. Definitely doesn't know he hit two. They don't know about the nade damage as well. As that, this damage will matter. Everybody's shooting hot. Two op bullets, three tags. But it does leave Team Fiend worse for wear. Oh, that's uh, yeah, that's that's a disappointing moment. You're like, oh, okay, we're just gonna walk up quietly, take our time, post slowly, get this B control and explode. Now they have to go for a new round. There's actually a chance here if Lecro's holding high. Oh, oh, oh! No, nope. Halzerk not gonna hit it. They don't. Oh, they don't peek up after him, and they're giving Halzerk a lot of room Called to out, move. Though. Called out with that Molotov. Damn, Bubble still able to survive it. Man, big pack mentality sitting outside a connector. Red Star's trade onto Heap is a good thing. It opens it up for Fiend, but they are playing against the clock as well. Freiburg still has this cross, and sure enough, cuts down Bubble, dives down into the ramp, makes sure he's not being split. And so I feel like Team Fiend on this on this one track, working towards the A site, need to find success somewhere. They're going to try to cover so that Victor can get the bomb in, and sure enough, a post plant is made possible. But Dreamer dies out to Freiburg. This ramp push just ends up being worth everything for Dignitas. One versus four. Red Star having been tagged up at the start of the round thanks to Lecro, dies out to Forrest. An excellent round for Dignitas, all things considered. I feel like they knew when they had opened a crack for Fiend. Yeah. And they let them just trickle into it so that they could put the top on the jar, yeah. seal it off. They've kind of been following close behind them everywhere they go. 
or in this case, you know, getting in front of the action, but still giving them a good chance, a good safe chance to get some damage in. That's been the story of the match so far for Dignitas. They're operating at very high. Hauser took a shot. He opened himself up to th the angles, that whole headshot angle and connector, plus Cat was holding Cat, missed the first shot, and they didn't go forward, even though they didn't have great guns. So off to a full A take with some, you know, a fake in mid control. Convincing start to Dignitas CT side. Their last matchup was an 8-7 lead for Dignitas CT. Well, they can feel it. Look at the rotations already here, but the TTs are just melting. Yep, that's what they're looking for. Convincing headshots, momentum, but the drop in from Heat, player up above him. Harn's got him dead to rights. That opens the door for Hauser. He rushes in, plays behind triple, but he's kind of lost with the smoke and the peaks and the cover that the T's had hidden into. Here comes Lecro with a missed shot, but two players tagged. The Deagle could be very deadly on this play. But they've got him pinned in. He tries to jump up. Uh, a stair smoke to pick up the pieces in a spot where they could still have rotation of CT control. And yeah, it's 3v4, but he'd have to get like multiple by himself after his teammate dies. And it looked like there was almost a chance to pull that back. But now we're already into the next round. Heap finds an opening. And they can't get rid of him either. No, it's going to be tough to get him out, though. Or, or, yeah, okay, wow. he's just giving space. Victor tags him up a little bit. Yeah, he did that without a flash, too. Freiburg's been pretty forward on this palace control. And, you know, sometimes he'll get the 1K. Sometimes they stuff him in the corner. Last time this worked out, but there was a second Palace player that ended up killing him. This time, there is no second Palace player, but a back is given to Hauserk's op, and he swings out for the connector kill, not able to double. Freiburg does his job in locking in Palace, and there's no escape for Bubble. Another one-off round. First of all, Fiend need to shake it off. Second of all, I, I feel like there, there needs to be maybe some kind of tempo change. And, ah, now the nasty shots start coming out. Hauserk picks one. Into Harn, top of mid. That's an op down again. I think they'll pick it up on, in the hands of Bubble. But now they got this is the nightmare situation where. Oh, oh my god, Jesus. I was, I was gonna say there's no real reason for Dignitas to be overly aggressive with this kill, but there's an opportunity there. Oh, amazing grenade. And he hit them, he hit him with the grenade too. It's an audible tag. Freiburg in a different position. It's interesting. They hear him running out of Palace, and I feel like this wants to bring Freiburg forward. But again, they don't have that much incentive. Oh, no! Freiburg sprays into both. No trade out from Bubble. A shutdown yet again out of Dig. And Freiburg's looking for a little bit more. Heap's going to cover onto Victor. Oh, and sure enough, oh, sorry. Laugh I just name, thought of man. something funny that happened the other day. I yeah, can't laugh. I don't think so. All right. It's supposed to be his friend, man. Back off, man. Back off. One time I played in a cash cup with Halvor as my teammate. It was me, Halvor, Maniac, Harry, and Hugo versus Zywu's ex-teammates. We lost 16-1. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. But if you go check which, my Liquipedia which, page, which, I won $52. Okay. We made playoffs. Which round did you win? The first one. The first. <laughs> what about the Antico? You didn't win the Antico? No. Okay. They rushed out hot. I forgot the ball. Uh, lucky. No. no, just bad. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a pistol challenge here, trying to work out into the A site, which will cause a bit of confusion. Harn killing Heap and getting that gun starts to magnetize the CTs towards A, when in reality, we still got bombs sitting comfortably in B. Freiburg with Hauser going to start clearing this out, starting to What's arc up? back a bit of success. Lecro's thinking, should I come peek? But he was just moments ago being held by bench. Instead, he finds the perfect bit of timing. Cuts down Harn as Forrest kills the B apps play. And now the bomb will be confirmed on this side of the map. So they had a chance, they had an opening, and Dignitas didn't place. Oh, oh, oh. Forrest. Oh no. He lets a player out, but Lecro seems to have it all. <laughs> 15 <laughs> seconds left. The road. And the splits happened to them. Not at least without some compensation. Man, into the underpass again. 
Nice and quick. Yeah, Hauser combat off. Wow. Hits the shot on to bubble. Another shutdown. They yeah, they're dismantling it. this oh, T side. No punish here. They are, uh, that was better too. Yeah, they got out of it. This underpass thing they've got going on. Yeah, it's true, right? Yeah. Essential rounds. Sometimes heap. Now it's Halzerk. And Lecro, he's just going to look to tuck into the ladder room. Freiburg cutting down another player. And Harns just revealed his position with that op shot over the bow. The Red Star is siffing up the B site. And unfortunately for him, the bomb is heading elsewhere, despite the openness of that B bomb site. But his utility usage just drew a couple players back over. This could prime Team Fiend to chop down a path through A. Forest extends outwards, gets the best of Dreamer. Bomb not even able to commit to that. So it doubles back and maybe mids the answer. But either way, I feel like Team Fiend are just wishy-washing around the map, trying to yeah, trying like to where's find our something. opening? Let's use a tactic here, find our opening. But yeah, the 5v4s are hitting them in the face too. It just makes your life so miserable uh, to just get into that 5v4 situation. It's actually Fiend have a fantastic 5v4 conversion rate, almost 80% on Mirage. But they're the ones in the 4v5s all the time now. Yeah, I doubt that conversion rate is high. Yeah. So looking to save would be insult to injury. Oh, if either Man. of these weapons go down, and sure enough, the op will be removed. And this was just a bonus. These were just kills to get, just to get while they were looking for, you know, hunting them down, trying to make sure they got. Somebody's doing work. Somebody's, man. yeah, somebody's got a good game plan. And so far, they're putting pen to paper. A marked improvement on the 8 7 half the last time they met. No signs of slowing down. Back towards middle, Fiend find their footing. The whole thing is very slow as well from, from Team Fiend, and it's not a problem to be slow most of your rounds, that's your style, but I feel like, uh, you know, Dignitas are comfortable holding a lot of grenades as well, not knowing if, not expecting anything to come quickly to the sites. Nice boost up, that could call him out. Oh, he doesn't even oh, die. He's he got him covered. Three He's got kills. Your back. The moment they start firing off on Hauser, despite Dreamer running up Cat to try and take this one back. Oh, oh this timing. could be big. Bubble. He just slipped into the jungle. Uh oh. He actually might just time his timing himself. Freiburg fighting the further player. He will get caught up close. This could be the opening, but the bomb still lies in the middle. And Forrest, with eyes on it, is caught by Bubble. He doubles back. This is Team Fiend fighting as hard as they have to to get back into this one. I think this will be heard, actually, uh, yeah, from inside a ladder. So they'll go and take the bomb up and just head over to A. It's an open site. Just trying to catch that rotation. Finally, we see the CT stumble. Yeah, there was a, there was a gap there. And Bubble slips through it. The defense pops. Man, Ooh, nice move down. Making sure he can't find that duel. This is going to draw his team teammate up the connector. Wow, he actually might get cleared still. He gets spotted. Oh, he got oh, the first turn and turn it. Holy! And oh. It's in the window there where they should be, they should be clued into the idea that they could get cleared or held or pushed. Uh, who am I to talk? Dignitas have 10 rounds. That is true. An excellent CT side so far. Two more rounds to play out. And Fiend maybe with a bit of life left in them. Very cool round from Bubble, just finding that timing versus Freiburg, but Hauser... They do love walking up connector. He'll open up shop. Another 5v4, the way of Ooh. dig, and a spray from Lecro for two. Forest here to support, and all that remains from Fiend exists inside the apartments. Nice flash, but it misses the mark. So sure enough, Red Star will ch chop that one off. Oh. He gets tagged and cut from the skies. Another... Final attempt on this T side from Fiend. 11 4. Best case scenario. To reiterate as well, this is Fiend's map pick. Ooh. Before we head to Nuke. And maybe Ancient. But you are dead on. Some of these rounds kind of. Opening slip by. 
CT side has been way more proactive, has taken way more risks. And those risks more regularly pay off. Harn's gonna challenge out from ramp, eats the flashbang, but regains vision. Freiburg playing with his nades as Forrest gives a little bit of cover. And oh, did he ever need it? Freiburg extends out, the man advantage drop back the other direction, and it falls onto Hauser to clutch this 1v2. But soon that smoke will fade. Yes, I was gonna say, but we'll see if it's successful before yeah. we use words like that. Yeah, yeah, maybe success in the past, sure. We'll see, we'll see what the CT side has to offer. And maybe the comfort will rise a level. But after we saw from Dignitas, so thorough, so well prepared. So many gaps that they found, and even while making some mistakes, they were able to punish a lot. And now Dreamer's low as the rotator over to B. He can't even fight as the site gets cracked wide open. He'll get taken down, too. That's the very minimum plant in this situation. Oh, oh, actually, they got to go get the bomb now. Yeah, a little bit awkward. Bubble, as they struggle to get back control of this bomb site, shaves one off. Then Lecro extends. Not only getting the bomb, but a kill before it. So that's oh, Whoa, that's but damn. You, you know the showdown. It just it just adds another layer of pressure, right? Knowing that everything could come down to this one series every yeah, yeah. single time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elimination. Whoever loses this is going home. So fiend are not going to give up. These guys are fighters. You don't want to be a team that only makes it as far as poggers. That would be unfortunate. Oh, that is a money grenade, though. You like to see it. Good utility usage. Sign me up. Every day. Alexi, bead that bad boy. Oh, he put in work with this M4. Big work. And uh, I love the single rifle off cat. One of the strongest positions on the map CT side. So a lot of action for them. And now it's just about tethering. Those pistols go to work, but not with the help, without the help of other pistols. Ooh, okay. And yep. that's the damage of uh, Dreamer coming in to support the Steagle. Yeah. Crucial part of the equation. Carry the three, add four, nade for 40. Yes. Ah, even better. Across the three, excellently timed utility. Again, sign me up. Utility usage, a crucial part of a successful CT side. 2v5. Oh, so unlikely, especially with this fast flank coming around the apartment. It's heap surrounded, dead to right, damn it. But he is looking to take players with him, and he'll only act. We dissipate. Antico in play for Dignitas. Bombs moving over towards the B site. Mid control here for Fiend. They're going to be very aggressive. Mm, okay, he gets it. Red Star with the headshot. Forest answers. Mm. Heap. Also adding one to the tally. Oh my god, it's not Forrest over. With another, the Dignitas is alive and kicking. And I thought this was one of those teams that may get hit by the nerf. But if you hit him in the head, all good. Smooth sailing. Lecro going to try and challenge top mid. He's got two players above oh, him. Lecro. Oh, Lecro! Bubble up close. He gets shattered. And now Dreamer sees him at a distance, tries to tuck his head down, comes up with just the USP. But They're losing out every choke point. That slim margin of error. Damn. Skinnier than ever. Yeah, I can't help but feel like around like this is even less scary, but maybe a nice push could oh, oh, be a oh. good remedy. But there's two players stuck in the A ramp. This lets the tease out. <gasps> what the? Hello? Do you Hello? Ah, uh, what? <laughs> Bubbles like, bro, how'd you fall back Apex. from ramp oh, so fast? <laughs> Forrest just shocked by the fact that there's a counter-terrorist standing there <laughs> and more so surprised by the fact that he never even turned around. <laughs> I saw, I think I, I thought I saw one in CT, but I was like, okay, he's not attacking. Maybe he's what? just cut. That's ridiculous. If he had a better gun <laughs> and uh, some headphones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Epos might be having important. a sale yeah, or something. Yeah, we could have <laughs> Epos, yeah. Eight, get a pair of H3s or something. Let's, uh, let's hook him up, shall we? Yeah. Damn. Okay, well, Dig cut through that A site like there was nobody ever there. Yeah, that was, that's the thing. Like, they didn't get the kill right off the peak, and then the long, every second they took the kill. Come on. What are you going to do with those? Uh-oh. Surrender. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh oh <laughs> Okay, let's, uh, if you're Freiburg, you want to forget about that round as fast <laughs> as you possibly can. But the scout shots are connecting. 
Harn doing good damage versus Forest. We've got that triple player yet again in position, but Victor's gonna die out without getting a kill. Bomb dropped on top of Palace. Lecro will have to go up, I think, unless Forest scoops it as he pushes forward. Oh, substantial damage from Red Star. Frag could be on point, but no, Forest able to dodge it with the wooden cover of Palace. Now it falls onto Hauser. He extends into the window, chops off Bubble, and as he doubles back, this connector player could be his end. Sure enough, it is. Forest, 30 health needed for the clutch. And he can go wherever he chooses to. And he kills at this point will feel pretty good. And it, I don't know, Forest, we'll see if they play together and they really think that Forest is going to slow it down, come back to A, and they stick in this spot. Then, of course, we've got a plant down for Forest, which is nice for the money. Bro, he is confident. Look at this egghead. This is years of experience. Thank you. Bald and focused. Bomb has been planted. Bald and ferocious. True. 33 years old, still going hard. It's going to go quickly clear flank. Now he's got two flashbangs to work with. And he's going to hear that, right? They're still running. Yeah. He at least hears one set of feet, maybe even the second. That's ball more than halfway ticked. He's done a really good job of just burning off the time already. Starts to extend out before they ever tap it, but that's where Red Star will catch him. He was looking to kill one, then maybe fall back, but still comes down pretty close. That was pretty funny. They still have enough capacity of rounds to laugh about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can brush it off. Yeah. You do that for 14-14, no one's, no one's joking. No one's joking anymore. They still have... Oh my god, that's the that's a fast split. But it's just the Deagle. Forrest will get that kill in the end. They look to split into B. Red Star's position now known. He challenges for a second, and sure enough, gets both Lecro and Freiburg. Forrest was always unable to come join them. I think he could have, actually, a little ominous. Say it like that. A little ominous, but, you know. La he always wanted to go bottom mid. Yeah, Russian connector. Chance to challenge under Pat. Ooh, nice headshot, dude. Keep it clack. Keep it clean. Keep it tasteful. Yeah. Bubble actually comes in. Forest. Oh my god. Well, gonna make this one costly, all things considered. 1v5 Deagle attempt. Ooh, imagine. Imagine a world where some more connect, but mm -hmm. no sir. Three up for Fiend. Easy round versus the pistols. Nice play. Walking into something. And yeah, it's funny the amount of moments. Oh, it's Russian connector here. Yeah, do it. He didn't work last round, do it twice. Yeah. yeah. The perfect play, really. Well, it nets him another opening. Five v four is a five v four. Facts. You said what? Eighty percent conversion? Close. Yeah, it's seventy nine point something 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 something. Well this year. The odds tell us the game goes oh. on. That's so nice. Red Star puts out the Molotov, That's peeks beautiful. into the gap, and kills Freiburg like it's nobody's business. Puts but out the own. what? Huh? Smoke. Yeah. Well. That was a seamless play. Perfect, dude. Hell, rounded up to 80. Solid 5v4. These connector rushes. Quick log rip. Let's call it the Velociraptor. The Raptor. Okay, I like that. How do you know what they sounded like? Uh, Jurassic Park. Duh. <laughs> you know they make that like fugal horn thing. Call of the Raptor. Call of action into the B site. Red Star passive off setup alongside Dreamer on Cat. Just the Deagles. But I say that with a warning because Dignitas have already showed us their Deagles can come alive. Bomb's gonna be planted, which is a success story in and of itself, and a rush out from Hauser. Now he has hands on an AK. Off shot goes just beyond him, and he tucks back into the bench. Yikes. 
Harn playing off the top shelf. Victor starts to work oh. forward. Hauser comes in with that AK. Freiburg's thinking about getting his hands on it. And we've got this boost inside the site. An odd position, but one that can catch you off guard. No dodge from Forrest. Freiburg's back in, and he finishes. Even though they put that four together. And that leaves Fiend in a very awkward spot. Six map points. Eco twice. Half of Diggs to T round wins. Just Deagle four spies. They're gonna try B site a second time. Rinse and repeat, copy and paste. Ooh, and oh. this is the way it ends. Lecro Forest, quick entries. Utility made them a little bit uncomfortable, but they still come up with those two frags. And Team Fiend's retake, nothing to lose. Double ops as well, comes back to haunt them, perhaps. Heap locked into the cat player, and he shaves that one off. This is a desperate situation for Team Fiend, and it's looking like Digitas with substantial improvements on Mirage. A 2-0 the last time these teams met, and it's already looking like Dig want to sink in their teeth. Red Star trying his damage.